How do you deal with sexual desire when you're in a long distance relationship? As you can tell, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, I'm not. We FaceTime and we have fun. I tried it three times, never doing it again. Oh. Are you guys sweating a little bit? A little, yeah. Actually. Already? I'm scared. No, I'm fine. It's because you're so Go open. Good. Usually I'm the guys good. are all right. I'm open. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I have two new friends here. We just met, <laughs> and I'm gonna ask you guys very personal questions. Cool. Let's do this. My I'm name excited. is Sam. I was just take my thunder. This is Sam. Hi, Monica. Sam and Monica. Hi there, my name is Sam Patterson, and as you can tell by my accent, I'm from the UK. I never know what to say after you say it, because it doesn't sound cool. Well, you can it. just say I'm from New York. New York's a cool place. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm from New York. We're in a long distance relationship, so 3,297 miles apart. Oh, we just moved, so it's actually not. Oh yeah, it's like 3,298 now. I'm single, so that's, that's oh, all that matters. Sweet. So, welcome to Let's Get Uncomfortable. Do you guys know what it what it is? Yep, I I'm, watched it. I think I can assume from a name. I asked people to send in questions or statements or literally anything about whatever topic. I tried to keep it uh, about couples this time to okay. keep it kind of relevant. They didn't want that at all, apparently. Uh, <laughs> but it's all anonymous and it's just so we can open up a conversation. You don't have to have the right answer, just your opinion. And it's pretty simple. Let's cool. do this. I expect sweat. I'm scared. <laughs> I literally am scared. I don't know why I'm scared. The first one's how do you know you're in love with someone? I feel like it's like you can't describe the feeling. Like when you know, you just know. Like I remember the exact moment that I knew like I was in love with him, but I didn't say it. We were just talking home. about it and it's like, mm, do you want to spend one night with this person? Or do you yeah, yeah, spend yeah, yeah. It's when it's kind of, it's just a natural kind of feeling when you know you want more than just a hookup kind of thing. But I mean, that's when you know you want to be with someone, but that's then, like the fuck boy answer. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> no, I never I mean, hook up like that. So that's like when you want to, when you know you want to start dating. But when I actually kind of fell in love with Monica, I think it was at the point at which she left, flew back home and I missed her after about three hours. I think that's the point at which I knew I was in love with her because I was like, wow, I genuinely kind of rely on this girl to live now. It's like which is like kind of feeling. cheesy, but. It's like a feeling and you just like know it. Like I didn't know like I feel like I'm like. a barrier right now between <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do y'all do the nasty if you don't live with each other? If you well, don't have your own place? Well, we do the nasty. Um, we do have our own place actually well, in the UK. All. Before we had our own place, because we just got our own place together, but before we had our own place, you just, I you're don't just know, quiet. you just close the door. Yeah, you're a bit quiet. When I was with my parents, when I was living with my parents, they were on a different floor of the house to me, so it was yeah. much more convenient, wasn't it? Not in my house, though. My in room, your house? Room is right yeah, but the thing is, your family is so open that, like, your my mom, mom, her mom knows, knows everything about us. Everything that she shouldn't. I love this. Normally, I have to pry at people to get it out. <laughs> you guys are just like, all right, so this <laughs> is the first day we did it. <laughs> yeah. um, would you ever consider a threesome? Hell yeah. Oh, wait, this is not me asking. <laughs> this is uh, the, the, the viewers are asking. Okay. Great. I mean, if a girl's <laughs> good looking enough, yes. Not a guy. With Harry Styles, we already we already like talked about this. Okay. If Harry Styles asked us, we would be like, yes. Yeah. All right, she's not here right now. Would you actually? Yeah. Oh, I know oh, he okay. wants. So we talk about it all the time. Harry Keep Styles, Justin Bieber, Frenchie Skalachowski. What girl Skalachowski. would you allow? Oh, Selena Gomez. Every girl oh, okay. about over about seven out of ten. But then it's also like if they're super pretty, I'd feel really bad about myself because I'm like really insecure. So if I'd see, I'd be like, if I saw you look at her for like too long, I'd be like, wait. So what it's like between like a six and an eight. Like okay. I need to be like in love with her too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's got to be good looking enough so that you're attracted to her, but but, but like I know that you're not gonna dump me for her afterwards. Yeah, I don't know. I'd never like do a, that anyway because it's, it's like all a, about chemistry relationships. I guess, isn't but it? like Selena Gomez, you would. I feel like you would only for Selena Gomez. What did I just do? Anyways, <laughs> how can you deal with your special someone not having a sexual liking to you? Do you ask them about it, or you just wait and see if it changes? What does that mean? I mean, I've. It basically, how do you deal if your partner isn't sexually attracted to you? Is that is that it basically? Yeah, if you find like they don't want to do the nasty right away and you're just like, I really want to do it, but then they're like, mm, I'm right away. Well, I mean, it's like right away. It depends because there could be kind of a couple of different reasons why they don't want to do it straight away. Either no, 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 no it doesn't even have to be straight away. It's just like whenever oh, if was, they don't, if like they, they don't, just they, if don't they don't have an interest you, in like sleeping with you. Yeah, if like, they don't see you in that way and it's just they keep hanging out with you, I think you're getting friend zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not sexually attracted to someone, why are you dating? Because them? like when mm. you're dating someone, it's not just about like on the like the outside like you wanna that's like part of being in love 100% that's why it's called making yeah. love but I mean when you when you first start dating if your partner doesn't want to kind of progress and do stuff with you when you first start dating then it's maybe not a sexual attraction thing maybe they just want to take things slow just just have a conversation with them what do you do when a boy only texts you for sex
sex, but you want to date him. I He's think an right boy, and you don't want to deal. You with someone want like someone that. who wants you for you and not just your body. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. If you're kind of going along with it, so if he takes you for sex and you're actually going along with it, then that's all he's ever going to see you as. Yeah, you have to like. I think you got to be straight up. Yeah, you need it. to be honest. Use the balls you got, guys. You basically, it. guys in general are dumb. Like, if you give them what they want straight Whoa. away. If, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is like, so if they text you and just want sex, and you're like, you, if you reciprocate and you're like, okay, yeah, let's just have sex, then that's all they're ever going to see you as. Yeah. But if you make it clear that okay, I'm, you know, I'm down for having sex with you, but I want something more, then it's probably going to be brutally honest and they're either going to say yes or no but yeah. at least you, you just have need the to be honest because if you don't know then you're just going to get even, you're going to get yeah. uncomfortable yeah. well yeah and the biggest thing is that you can't be butthurt about somebody wanting to just do it with you do the nasty right yeah. it, it's, their, it's their personal preference and that's fine for them you just have to be you have to vocalize your own or else you can't get mad at that person because they're thinking that you want something when you're not even saying yeah. anything so Exactly. Just be vocal. At which age do you think sex is appropriate? See, this is a hard question. It's like, it's like when you're most comfortable, but then when I think about like if a 13 year old, like I feel like that's not okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like you need to like know what you're doing. Like don't just like go into that. I if you're like 16, 17 and your friends are doing it and they're kind of peer pressuring you into it, being like, hey, everyone in our yeah. year, everyone in our class at school is having sex. Why aren't you? If you're not ready for it yet, don't do it. Yeah. But I think generally like, I don't know if you're like between the ages of 16 and 18. I think that's probably genuinely so, when people do it, is it? Yeah, so now the millennials right now, I forget they're called like Y or something. Gen Y, yeah. Yeah, their average age is 16. Right. Right now. So, so I, made a, I made a video years. about like for the Adam and Eve thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And everyone's like, oh my God, you're making it for underage people. And I was like, the average people who watch my videos are 16. Yeah. And that's the average age nowadays. I, You know, you hear about kids like 13 years yeah. right now. Personally. Johnny Depp. What? Dude, Johnny Depp apparently lost his virginity at 13 in the back of a food truck or something. Well, wearing like the Jack Sparrow outfit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 100%. He was in, in and he was, he was drinking a bottle of rum as well. Yeah. Rum. No, I'm, I'm not going to say who, but when I was 17, a celebrity tried to sleep with me. And I you like- You Yeah, I'll tell you who it was. Afterwards, like, and like, I was like, I really liked him. I like, this was like my crush at the time. Say it. But I was like, you know, I, can't, say I can't do that. Say her name. <laughs> say her name. <laughs> I had the opportunity, but like, I knew it, that it was just for that and I wasn't comfortable with that and it would have been like my first time and stuff. So don't hop into it just because you like, feel like you have the need to like wait because you will be so thankful when you do. My sister and her boyfriend have been together for over two years. He's cheated on her. I'm the only one who knows. My sister doesn't even know. What the hell do I do? Cause I, it's affecting me mentally knowing that she doesn't know. He's a lovely guy, but I've never experienced this before. Uh, I hate tell cheating. Her. I really hate cheating. You need I to tell love it. You know, if this was my sister, like you need to tell your sister. I'm 100%. so sorry. You need to tell your sister. Especially if it's affecting you mentally. Like mm -hmm. that's a waste on your shoulders. That I mean, the only thing that your sister's gonna do if you tell her is thank you. Like if you, if you bottle it up and then she obviously because she will find out eventually. Mm -hmm. Everybody will find mm -hmm. out eventually. When she if and when she does find out and she finds out that you knew yeah. all along, then she's she's only gonna resent you. Yeah. And it's for the wrong reasons, because I know you're probably trying to protect mm -hmm. her. The guy could be a really nice guy, but if he's cheated on her, then out him. I think right away, either way, the when you tell your sister, I think she's gonna hate you e no matter what, right away, because in that moment, nobody wants to hear that they're getting cheated on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's gonna, you know, <laughs> maybe throw some fists, sharpen her elbows, but don't even, don't worry about it, because you're doing the right thing at that yeah. time. 100%, and she, and she will definitely realize that later. Just think like, about once, like, once all the emotions are gone, she will realize that you're helping her. You just need to think like, would you want to know? Like you, you would want her to tell you, so you have to do that for her. Her answer to that is no, and that's why she hasn't told <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, I'm never watching this channel again. <laughs> now on to the next question. Has, I'm guessing this is like just for you actually. Uh, has she ever given you blue balls? Oh no, that's one for her. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yes. yeah. every, I mean, every relationship, you, you, every guy is guaranteed to get blue balls at some point, aren't they? I mean, come on. <laughs> it might just be you, dude. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> you do it on purpose? She's a tease. I don't think so. No, have I done that I don't think so. That means yes. I don't think it's like, so. It's like, it's like, yeah. No. Is it acceptable for your partner to be close to an ex if they broke up on good terms? Yeah. I, mean, I we think were talking so. About this. You have to be trusting, don't you? If yeah. you tr if you trust your partner fully, then there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to hang out with an ex. Unless like the ex like hates you, like you have a problem like personally with her, and like you yeah. guys don't like each other, then I'd be uncomfortable. Yeah. Like obviously, if the ex is actively trying to break you guys up, then yeah, yeah you should resent the ex. Or like and, it was clear she was still in love with you or something. I wouldn't be comfortable if you hang out with her because I'd be like, okay, but you have so much history with her. What if you want to leave me is there and someone? go back to her? There's someone. No, there actually isn't. Shh, we went to a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm friends with all my exes except. 
for one. The one that like cheated on me, I'm not friends with. But like other. Oh, yeah, it's all right. I just cracked my knuckle and I never do that and it really hurt. So we're not throwing you in the ring. All right. You've done a huge portion of your life with that person because you we were talking. You're friends with a bunch of your exes, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not like exactly friends with a bunch of my exes, but we're kind of civil with each other. Like pretty much all of my relationships have ended on good terms, and I'm not saying I've had a lot. I've had like three. Yeah, like if we ended on good terms, we still like follow each other on social media and kind of keep up to date with each other's lives. We just don't necessarily talk all the time. How do you deal with sexual desire when you're in a long distance relationship? Oh, yeah, oh, actually, I don't want to fucking know this. FaceTime. <laughs> now I'm all sitting right here. <laughs> Adam and Eve from Monica. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> uh... I'm not. We FaceTime and we have fun. <laughs> I mean, every couple does. Come on. I'm so uncomfortable. There's no reason. Yeah, there's no reason. That. What do you think about sex on the first date. I feel like it's okay. If I feel like if, if both people have the same intention. You're yeah, fine. exactly. Yeah, it I depends what kind fun. of vibe you're giving off and what, and if you can't, obviously you can't really kind of talk about it on the first date. You can't be like, <laughs> yeah. hey, is this just sex or is this sex with a relationship? Yeah. But you, I mean, you can do it. You can get kind of a feeling about it, can't you? Yeah. yeah. So if you think that the other good person is just interested in the sex, then obviously don't do it. Yeah. But if you, if you both <laughs> kind of- If they bring it up right away on the first date, <laughs> yeah. if they're like, yeah, so I've had like 17 sexual partners, it's fine, <laughs> yeah. I'm really good. Yeah, if, if, like, if you're eating your starter at a restaurant and they're like, you want to get out of here? Then be like, no. Personally, Monica and I, we wasted quite a while, didn't we? Five days. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he's also my Yeah, friend, but we so slept in the bed for those for for like five days before That's that. How and I literally I didn't I even try anything. Because he had blue balls then. Yeah, I didn't but, mean to. But I really, really Damn. liked her and you know, I'm I'm So you waited for her, so I waited for her because <laughs> <laughs> I was more experienced with Monica. I was older than Monica. I'd had girlfriends before. I was Monica's first kind of serious boyfriend. I am Monica's first serious boyfriend, <laughs> yeah. hopefully. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to kind of be respectful and waited until she made the first move. Oh. You guys uncomfortable? No, not at all. It's Are not you? that bad, right? No, it actually wasn't. That's the whole point is like opening up this conversation. Do we do we have the right answers? Yeah. God, no. no. But yeah. our own answers. We yeah. have our opinion. It's yeah, you can yeah. be wrong. Everybody, everybody has their own thing. Hell yeah. So basically what he's saying is don't listen to anything we've just said. Yeah. Just listen to what <laughs> I just have to give some disclaimers because a lot of the times people are like, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I want people to correct us in the comments. If you have an opinion, comment down below and uh, you can go over, check out their channel. It's going to be linked down below. I, what's your channel name? Is it just Sam and Monica? Just yeah. Sam and Monica. Yeah. Yeah. Oh damn. You just literally just search Sam and Monica <laughs> yeah. and it's just youtube.com forward slash Sam and Monica. Boom. And their Instagrams will be down below. So make sure you go check them out. And um, well, thank you very much for Thanks watching. for making us uncomfortable. Thanks oh, for, no worries. Thanks for trying to make us uncomfortable. There's like, there, kinda, I, I, think, I think it made you more uncomfortable than us. <laughs> yeah, I've never done it with two people, and it was just like both answers coming at the same time. It's like Monica's innocent answers, and I'm, yeah. I'm just like, yeah, we do. But then, no, then, oh, <laughs> then she's like, oh, no, but, it, but like anal feels like a knife. Yeah, I know. I was <laughs> expecting like, that. It does. I'm not even kidding. You're cheeky minx. 100K, though. Anyways, Worth it. Stay, stay beautiful and go get knifed, I guess. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry that we're so yeah. weird. Peace. Go get knifed. You it. sickos. That's the point. <laughs> you sick you're the one talking about anal. Yeah, you, you mentioned it first. That was we really fun. It, we tried it three times, never doing it again. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no.